Okay, yet another conservative commentator has been cancelled this week. The latest being the legendary Mark Stein, who's now left GB News. Stein has always pushed the boundaries of groupthink, which is why he's so popular around the world. I think he's a sensational pundit. He dares to talk about the issues in a manner that those in power wish no one ever heard. Stein was effectively driven out because he was asked to indemnify the broadcaster from any legal claims arising from his commentary, particularly that which was questioning the safety and efficacy of the COVID vaccines. Now, apparently there are already two investigations underway into Stein's commentary by the British speech regulator Ofcom. According to Stein, the contract included this term, quote, the Mark Stein company shall indemnify GB News for any and all direct loss, liability, costs, including reasonable legal costs, damages or expenses that it suffers as a result of any regulatory breach, end of quote. Unsurprisingly, when already faced with direct editorial oversight by the broadcaster, Stein thought indemnifying them was a bridge too far. Now, I perfectly understand why GB News don't want to spend their precious resources on frivolous groupthink complaints by hateful lefties and woke whingers, but this is actually surrendering to the mob. The way the world is going, we will not have a free media left, just regurgitators of official lines and government propaganda. A free media and free speech are at the cornerstone of our own freedoms. Without them, we all become captive to the leftist zeitgeist.